a person is eating fruits that are dipped or that still have one of the seven mashkim, which again, the seven mashkim is give the siman yad shahadam, which is yayin, devash, shemen, halav, tal, dam, and mine. So pretty much water, wine, honey, milk, dew, any of those. If a person has that on the fruit, in such a case, the halakha is even if you're not eating any bread or anything else, you're obligated to wash your hands. Even if you're not going to touch the water, you're still obligated. For example, let's say a guy is dipping something, a fruit or vegetable, and he's dipping it into water, and therefore he's not even touching the water, still the halakha requires that a person should wash his hands. And the reason is, Again, because one of the reasons for Tevila, for Netila, is because of Tum'ah. And through water, through Mayim, and other Mashkim, the Tum'ah is able to come. Without water, there's no Tum'ah part. Tum'ah is not able to go into it, and therefore, there's no Tum'ah. So a person wasn't required to wash. But as soon as there's water on the fruit, on the vegetable, then Tum'ah is able to trans- transmit and be able to go onto the fruit. So therefore, Achavim, in this case, told us that a person is obligated. Now whether a person has to make biracha or not, there's a machloket ben arishonim, whether or not a person has to make biracha. Halakha de ma'aseh. A person should not make a biracha, you wash without a biracha. However, he brings down at the end, don't think that it's just a humrah, a nice thing to do. Rather, if somebody does not wash, he has nothing to rely on. There's no really shita to really be relying on when a person is eating something that has, again, mind that has any kind of water on it. So that would mean that if a person washed his fruits or his vegetables and he has washed grapes, and usually, even if you wash the grapes, there's still going to be water on it. It's still going to have, the hat's going to have some kind of residue from the water. It's not going to be dry unless it stayed for a long time. But usually if you just washed it, the water is still going to be on it. In such a case, a person is eating the grapes, he has to wash his hands and then eat the grapes, even though, again, it might not be, you're not dipping it in water, but rather the water is on it. In such a case, a person is obligated to wash his hands.